Hi, I'm Amy Warfield, your town clerk, and this is government, Town Government 101. What we're doing today is um, we've had lots of questions, there's been lots of information out there for elections, and people wanting to know what does it take to participate and get involved in town government. Um, in towns in Massachusetts, there are two kinds of levels of jobs that are available for people to run for election for. One are considered town-wide um, positions, and then the other, because Burlington is a representative form of town meeting, is town meeting representatives. Now is the time, if you want to get involved with town government, now is the time for you to participate and get um, your paperwork in. And what that entails is coming into the clerk's office, filling out your nomination papers, taking them out, and getting signatures from registered voters in the town of Burlington. If you're running for a town-wide position, you need to get 50 registered voters, a minimum. And then we recommend that you get some more just in case someone, we can't read their signature. What you do then is you bring your papers back in before the deadline and we certify them for you, making sure that they're good, and then that puts your name on the ballot. Now, there are some other requirements for people who are running for town-wide office, and that is that you are responsible for tracking any campaign expenditures and reporting them in. So anyone who is running for town-wide office needs to be able to keep track of all of those expenditures. You are able to do fundraising, and there is also, um, you have the ability to set up a committee of people that's going to help you run for the office. But you are required to track all of that and turn those reports back in here to the town clerk's office. So what does it mean to be in a town-wide position? Well, a town-wide position are basically the executive branch of the government of town. So they are responsible and deal with the more day-to-day -day running of different departments that are in town. As I've mentioned before, school committee, board of health, library, they work with the staff, your, your, the employees in the town, um, to, to run those particular departments day to day. If you're interested in getting started and you're not really quite sure that you want to do a town-wide position, you can fill out and run for a town meeting representative position. There's a little less detailed in terms of the amount of paperwork that you get and what you have to do, but no less um, important than a town-wide office. The town of Burlington is broken into seven precincts, and there are 18 representatives from each precinct on a three-year term rotating schedule. Every year, we um, nominate and elect six people from each precinct to be, to be holding those seats. Now, what does town meeting do? Town meeting is actually the legislative branch of our town government. And what that means is they are the people who vote for the budgets, control what the zoning and the bylaws of the town are, they pass those regulations, and then they also are responsible for any other um, kind of big picture or policies that overall affect the town. The town elections are usually at the beginning of April and the deadlines for being able to take out papers and um, return papers to get your name onto the ballot is are approximately 45 days prior to that. If you need any more information on that, it's also on our website at burlington.org or do feel free to come down and visit the town clerk's office and we'll be very glad to help you with information about how you run for any of these positions. Town government works best with the most people and more people, the residents, involved in the process. So you have the ability to run for a lot of different positions, get involved with committees, and we'd be very glad if you want to come down to the town clerk's office and give you examples of how you might be able to participate in any of these uh, portions of town government.